nowadays especially for the startups which are selling bundled items so normally you will say okay now i'll you may be buy a subscription lifetime subscription on on any website right lifetime subscription means you pay now 100 dollar for lifetime access but the company has to do a lifetime service right they have to maintain the website they have to maintain the servers so does it mean they earn 100 now already or not no right they didn't earn 100 yet because they have to do the service in the future so normally the companies now especially with the new ifrs there is a new accounting standard previously before this the company was recording 100 dollar as a revenue today but the cost will continue to come in the future years so the revenue is here the expense is in the future years so you are you are not matching the revenue and expense correct so the new accounting standard requires company to split the revenue into current revenue and future promises so you have to estimate how much money you have to pay for future if let's say all 100 mostly maybe only 50 is for this year the rest of the 50 you need to pay for future so you you can recognize 50 as this year income the balance of 50 will go in future to to offset the expenses in the future you buy a car the company give you 3 year guarantee correct but they don't charge you anything right so the that this guarantee is bundled into the car price correct so company may charge you 100000 dollars but the and they are saying okay 90000 is for car value another 10000 is the guarantee 3 years guarantee or 4 years guarantee which is free of cost for that company need to pay after 3 years up to 3 years right they still need to have a staff they still need to have maybe somebody if let's say your car is actually damaged they still need to pay for it correct so the com- nowadays companies cannot recognize revenue up front that today we receive 100000 so we receive 100000 now you have to split the revenue for future obligations whatever you have to spend in future <coughs> okay so normally the equipment can have like uh, let's say for example you are buying a equipment so you may have a equipment you have a installation cost you have post sale services and you have material rights so let's say you charge a contract price 40000 the rest is all free installation is free service is free or there are some other benefits which are given out as a free so the previously recognized previously before this the company need to recognize 40000 as income the rest all go as a cost because it's free okay now the new after the new accounting standard companies are required to split the revenue into okay 19000 for equipment 10000 11000 for installation 4800 for sales services and 4000 for other freebies so the revenue is recognized when the items are either delivered or installed or when the actual future sales service is done or when the the company has the the person has claimed for the freebie discounts so the company need to split the revenue into multiple parts so we will not go into this uh, detail is it's going to be very complicated for you the last thing is in revenue is segmentation so as i said segmentation means understanding where your revenue come from what are you who are your customers so how we segment the revenue based how we segment the customers is there any criteria the amount of the amount of frequency we buy and the amount of money we spend amount of yeah you can say it like a paying capacity so one customer may be a businessman for example i give you an example of hotel okay there are many customer who go on internet and buy means they are paying a full price right there are customers who don't want to go internet and buy they want to go to travel agent and pay so do you know the travel agent will pay you will pay the hotel maybe 20% or 30% of whatever you pay so we give the margin of 30% to the travel agent but he will not sell you cheaper than the online rate he will but for us as a hotel if you book directly we get 100 dollar if you book the same room via travel agent we get only 60 or 70 if you are a company we are 
sell we are not selling at the on, online rate we are selling at a different rate have a contract rate right if you buy 10 rooms in a bulk you are paying us much lesser than if you pay or individually right so for us you are a different customer so we want to understand how our business is coming from our business is coming directly our business is coming from travel agents our business is coming from the contract staff or our business is coming in the groups so the revenue segmentation is normally done in on the customer in the way of how we approach them how do we market so or how they book us how they come to us they can come us directly they can come to us indirectly indirectly via travel agents via corporate companies via other companies right and the value proposition expected so means one customer may be require a suite and another customer may stay in a deluxe room one customer may require business class in the aeroplane one customer is happy with the economy right the the one customer may buy a full service if you buy a ticket do you buy with ticket which is able to change the price or which is not able to change the price or oh, sorry dates if you buy a ticket online now and you search a ticket which is fixed dates they will cost you very cheap because the dates are fixed but if you want to buy a flexible ticket you have to pay a higher amount right so there are two different these are same person same ticket same plane the different customers are two different because of their paying capacity somebody want to buy very cheap somebody want to pay higher so the company the person who want to sell cheap company cannot have a different rate right they can they can have only one rate in the public so they differentiate the rates by giving different options okay if you want to buy cheaper no problem but you cannot change in the future if you want to buy expensive you can pay expensive okay pay full price right so it depends on the customer now and depends on their needs so you can also depend you can also segment your customers by charging different prices or offering different services how they want to pay so it depends on their willingness so that's why we can say willingness to pay for goods and services so these are the three criteria but you don't need to have multiple segments it doesn't mean that you will create 20 segments because you have 20 type of different customers you need to categorize them to a maximum of maybe 6 5 to 6 segments maximum otherwise you have 10 20 different segments means you need to have a 20 different focus on marketing and uh, proposition right so which is not a good idea so you need to keep your segments between 5 to 10 maximum not more than that otherwise it's too much details that your marketing team or your, your yourself are not able to focus upon